Minasan, konnichiwa. This is Matt Okahara from the Matsumoto Castle Gun Corps. And in this video, we're going to look at some of the matchlock types used by the Matsumoto Castle Gun Corps. We'll start this video by looking at one of the most powerful types of guns we got, and that is the Ozutsu. Ozutsu are characterized by their very large caliber. During the feudal era of Japanese history, this was measured in monmei. With a caliber of 20 monmei or more, the matchlock is defined as an Ozutsu. In modern measurements, that means a barrel diameter of 23.1 millimeters. These types of guns were and still are hard to operate. They were expensive and required a lot of training, so were usually found in the hands of samurai. Moving on to Zamazutsu, these guns were typically held for pre-prepared defensive positions such as castles, trenches and ships. Their length allowed them to protrude out of the loophole or Zama, thereby giving them the name Zamazutsu or loophole gun. As they were typically very long guns, they required a crew of two to operate them. As you can see in the video above, one gunner rests the gun on their shoulder whilst the standing gunner loads it. Many of these guns were between 1.2 and 1.5 meters in length, but their caliber was not too dissimilar to any other typical gun found on the battlefield. However, the length of the gun allowed them to shoot a little bit further, and being made of a heavier design, it allowed for greater gunpowder and therefore greater velocity in the shot. As defensive weapons, they could easily punch through the armor of advancing troops. They could be used to harass the enemy at a greater distance than other firearms and were also useful against cavalry. Custom made for the samurai class, samurai zutsu are unique weapons. The guns themselves had a greater caliber than most kinds of guns. This put them into a category above infantry guns and even the zamazutsu, but below the ozutsu caliber. Samurai zutsu and chuzutsu would often have a similar caliber. That is to say, they were a lot more powerful than the regular infantry guns, but not as heavy and unwieldy as the Zamazutsu or the Ozutsu. These guns were often well decorated. As they were custom made for the samurai class, the gunsmiths of Japan wanted to show off their work. Even after the Warring States era, many of these guns were produced for the Samurai. And we are fortunate in the Matsumoto Castle Gun Corps to have a great collection of Samurai Zutsu and Chuzutsu guns that we regularly use during displays. As with all matchlocks, the loading and firing process can be quite laborious, so firearms tactics were developed for the Samurai to use these guns in combat. These Samurai gunners were expected to find and take on the most difficult targets. Without the supervision of a gun captain, they were on their own so were often well trained and well equipped for this kind of operation. The infantry were most commonly armed with Banzutsu. Literally translated, that means numbered gun, because the guns were issued by number. Each Banzutsu had a serial number stamped into the barrel. And as those below the social standing of a samurai were not allowed to own weapons, these guns were loaned by number to the infantry. These guns were often mass-produced, so they did not have the same type of decoration as the Samurai Zutsu or some of the larger type of guns such as the Ozutsu. These guns were designed to be used by the infantry. For the time period, they were rough and reliable. But as modern technology, they had a few drawbacks as well. We've already spoken about the loading time of the Samurai Zutsu. Another way to compensate for that loading time is to fire by rank. Whilst the front rank fires, the other ranks can prepare and load their weapons. This conserves ammunition and it also stops the barrels from overheating. If a commander had deployed multiple tepotai, it would be possible to keep up a near constant stream of fire. However, it was also sometimes valuable to fire at the same time and send a lot of lead towards the enemy. 
Auto fire in sequence, giving the impression of non stop rapid fire. Enemy advancing towards a position like this could expect to receive a lot of fire. Finally, we come on to the smallest type of matchlock, and that is a Tanzutsu. Tanzutsu, which are basically matchlock pistols, were sometimes carried by the cavalry, although the Bajozutsu was also designed for this. I hope you've enjoyed this video about the types of guns we use at the Matsumoto Castle Gun Corps. Don't forget to like and subscribe, because soon we'll be uploading some more festival footage for our 2022 season.